with Michael Baker this morning from Aravella Therapeutics. Michael, morning. Morning, Andrew. Good to see you, Michael. Your, uh, your quarterly report out last week and, of course, a, a critical milestone achieved within the period for your lead program, ALA 101. Uh, bring us up to speed. Yeah, absolutely. So we are very excited by LA, ALA 101. It's our lead program to tackle CD19 positive lymphomas and leukemias. And so our a key goal for us is to take that into first in human clinical trials as soon as possible, obviously for those patients that are in need. And what we managed to do over the quarter is achieve a key objective, which is to complete what we call process development and scale up. So we're now able to take the, the manufacturing process out of a research organization and put it into a commercial manufacturer. And that for us is cell therapies within the Peter McCallum Cancer Center. So that now sets us up to accelerate producing the GMP batches and getting the necessary documentation and final studies completed that we'll require before we start phase one. You've also, within the last couple of weeks, made a, a key appointment to the Scientific Advisory Board. That's right. So that was uh, through the uh, license that we had with University of North Carolina in January this year, which is an exciting technology that will build in to our platform for solid tumours. So we think that it really enhances how the cells will perform in terms of their anti-tumour activity. And that that individual, uh, his name is Professor Gian Petro Dotti, he's a pioneer in working with CAR INKT cells. So we're delighted that He's now on board and on our team as part of the Scientific Advisory Board. And finishing up the the quarter with just shy of $13 million in the bank, uh, what are the upcoming milestones? Yeah, and firstly, just, just to point that out, I think that is a great position for us to be in. So that that cash balance provides us with runway to take L101 into clinical trials and start collecting data. So we're in a very good position from a capital perspective. And what that will fund moving forward is all the necessary activities in order to help us take LO101 into clinic, uh, but also it provides funding for our other programs like ALA105, which we're aiming to get preclinical data in the short term, uh, which would, would show that this has got benefit and potential in things like gastric cancer and even potentially pancreatic cancer. So very happy with the cash position. And what are some of the near-term activities to to inch closer to getting ALA 101 into the clinic? Yeah, big, big goals are to get that GMP batch manufactured for clinical trials. That's a big one to tick off. And um, getting everything ready for clinical trials, which means finalizing some what we call IND enabling studies uh, before writing up the necessary documentation to essentially submit to regulators like the FDA and TGA. So once we get that approval to start phase one, we think that's a very a transformative point for the company in taking this program into first in human clinical trials. And then on our preclinical uh, development with ALA 105 and our interleukin 12 TM technology, again, as I said, we're aiming to get preclinical data for those programs in the short term. And that will support us using those particular technologies for uh, solid tumors that are really high unmet need like gastric cancer and potentially pancreatic cancer as well. Good to see you, Michael. Thanks very much. Thanks, Andrew. Thanks for having me.